tucked in. Okay? And then for that case, I just grab the bottom of it and the top. All right? If he wants to come in and try to get in real tight, all I'm going to do is look. I'm going to straighten my leg. Right? And I'm going to come back down. All right? I have his lapel. That far side lapel, this one here, that crosses over his knee. I have it through his legs. You can't get it away. You can't pull it out of my hand. It's in a bad position. He's in a real bad position. You can try as much as you want. You can't, if I don't have a big grip on it, and let's just say see, he pulled the key out, all right, look, I would just grab his belt. And then it's the same thing, especially if it's tied on real tight. Okay? So, I, I have his key. Yes. I'm making sure that I have the, the lapel part. I'm sitting down, and from here, even here, guys, he now, I'm going to start to reach for his gi and his pants. I'm going to grab his pants how we teach you guys to grab the sleeves. Four fingers in. Don't pistol grip it. I mean, not inside his gi, but you know, outside of you know how you grab the sleeves, okay? Um, whoever doesn't know that, we'll walk around and show you. From here, this move cannot be done on your elbow. You have to be laying down. All I'm going to do is I'm going to let the top leg out. I'm going to uncross my legs. Which is crazy because now he can pass my yard. But that's the exact thing I want. Because now I'm going to come up. And I'm going to pass and sweep him and hold this button the whole time. Alright? I haven't met someone that can stop me yet. Alright? Always looking for new time. It's an amazing move taught by a, a, you know, a good friend of mine. And it, it honestly changed my whole game. Because when I was like a butterfly guard guy and doing all this stuff, now I'm like back into my, you know, then I was deep back and butterfly guard after all that good stuff, and now I'm back into uh, half guard again. I love half guard. All right. So, once again, if his key's out, we hold, right? And then literally I just pop up, I grab. Look, see, I, I control him. I can have him push his knee over my leg. And now we're in this position. Now we're in a lot of trouble, right? But I just reach for his gi and put my fingers in. And now he cannot escape this position. He can't. And it's a very easy move, very beginnerish move that you know you can bring us to the next level and sweep high-level guys if you do this right. If you do this move at enough time, you know how to stop this move. But it's still very, very hard to do if somebody knows what they're doing. Same thing, look, I'm holding his ankle. I'm gonna let go and just start getting up to my knees. And the whole time I get up to my knees, I'm pulling this leg into me and running him over, holding this position the whole time. All right? Awesome move, guys, and there's so much more that we can do off of it. Really easy. I'm here, the guy puts his leg over my leg. So now it's easy. Look. I just feed it to there. Alright? His hand's close. I grab his hand. Alright? This, this is another one. Another, you know, um, you know, position off of this one. If I can't reach his leg, look. I just, I make sure I got his pants. My, I'm sorry, his sleeve. Sorry, my brain doesn't work really well. Alright? I can pick him up, look. Then I start reaching for his leg. Got it. Let go. From here, could he mount me from here? Sure. But I'm not gonna let him, I'm gonna, I'm gonna react. All right? It's very hard to keep them out too. We can get into that a little later. Let's just give that a shot, okay guys? On three guys. One, two, three.